Hi, and welcome to Reading with Ms. Momo. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today, we're gonna to have a story about writing letters and invitations to someone, sending letters and invitations to someone. And we'll talk more about that later, but I want you to listen very carefully to the story so that you can answer some questions when we get through, okay? Listen carefully now. A Letter for Amy by Ezra Jack Keats. I'm writing a letter to Amy. I'm inviting her to my party, Peter announced. Why don't you just ask her? You didn't write to anyone else, said his mother. Peter stared at the sheet of paper for a while and said, well, this is sort of special. He's gonna write a letter to a very special friend, inviting her to his party. He folded the letter quite a few times, put it in the envelope and sealed it. Now I'll mail it, he said. What did you write, his mother asked. Will you please come to my birthday party, Peter? You should tell her when to come. So he wrote on the back of the envelope. It is this Saturday at two. Now I'll mail it. Put a stamp on it. He did and started to leave. Wear your raincoat. It looks like rain. He put it on and said, it looks like rain. You'd better stay in, Willie. And he ran out to mail the letter. And there he goes with his raincoat and his lettering told Willie to stay in because it was raining. He has a very important letter that he's going to mail an invitation to his party. Walking to the mailbox, Peter looked at the sky. Dark clouds raced across it like wild horses. He glanced up at Amy's window. She wasn't there. Only Peppy, her parents, sat peering down. Willie, didn't I tell you to stay home? He's Willie followed him. And there's the parrot up in the window, and there's Peter in the rain. Look how stormy it is. Peter thought, what will the boys say when they see a girl at my party? Suddenly there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder and a strong wind blew the letter out of his hand. And there goes the letter and on the back of it says, it is this Saturday at two and there's Peter and the lightning is striking and it's flashing in the sky and there's a roar of thunder. Are you scared of thunder and lightning? Peter chased the letter. He tried to stop it with his foot, but it blew away. Then it flew high in the air. There's the letter and it goes flying high in the air and he's trying to catch it and it's raining. And look, Willie is following along. And landed and skipping across the hopscotch game. There goes the letter across the hopscotch. The letter blew this way and that. Peter chased it this way and that, and he couldn't catch it, and it just kept flying. And look, who's tell us that? Willie, Willie is chasing it too. Big drops of rain began to fall. Just then, someone turned the corner. It was Amy. She waved to him. The letter flew right toward her. She mustn't see it, or the surprise will be spoiled. They both ran for the letter. He's running this way, she's running that way. There's the letter. It, in his great hurry, Peter bumped into Amy. He caught the letter before she could see it was for her. He knocked her down. Oh my goodness, but he got the letter. And it's raining, it's wet. Quickly, he stuffed the letter into the mailbox. He looked for Amy, but she had run off crying. He had hurt her feelings. But he mailed a letter, and there she goes off crying. Now she'll never come to my party, thought Peter. He saw his reflection in the street. It looked all mixed up. And there's his reflection in the street, in the water and the rain, and there's Willie. And he's sad because he thinks that Amy would never come to his party now. When Peter got back to his house, his mother asked, did you mail your letter? Yes, he said sadly. 
He's looking out at the storm. He's so sad because he thinks that Amy's not going to come to his party. Saturday came at last. Everybody arrived but Amy. Shall I bring the cake out now? His mother asked Peter. Let's wait a little, said Peter. Now, bring it out now, chanted the boys. All right, said Peter slowly. Bring it out now. He was waiting for who to come. He was waiting for Amy. All the boys are ready for the cake. Just then the door opened. In walked Amy with her parrot. A girl. Ugh, said Eddie. Happy birthday, Peter, said Amy. Happy birthday, Peter, repeated the parrot. The parrot's singing happy birthday to Peter. And there's Amy. She came. Peter's mother brought in the cake she had baked and lit the candles. Everyone sang, Make a wish, cried Amy. Wish for a truck full of ice cream, shouted Eddie. A store full of candy and no stomach ache. But Peter made his own wish, and he blew out all the candles at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven candles. Peter had a happy birthday, didn't he? And Amy did come. And I know he was so excited that she was there, even though she was the only girl. She was important to him. And he sent her a special invitation. Sometimes when you want someone to come, you need to invite them either by verbally or you can write them an invitation. But make sure you send it to them so they can read it and so they can see it. Mother's Day is coming up. You might want to write your mother a letter or your grandmother a letter. Or maybe write your friend a birthday letter for their birthday. Writing letters is something that we don't do much anymore, and I wish that we would. Also, handwritten invitations are something we don't do much anymore. So maybe in the next few days, you could either make a card for your mother or grandmother for Mother's Day or make your birthday invitations for your birthday party or do something to make a card to put in the mail and to send to someone. It's fun to send mail to people, and they have a good time when they go to the mailbox and they get it and they read it from me. I have gotten some really nice thank you notes lately, and they really made me feel happy, and I was so glad I had given those gifts. Some of you will need to write thank you notes for maybe your birthday gifts or whatever gifts you've been given. So writing is something that I'm asking you to do the next few days and make cards and enjoy mailing them to someone, taking them to the post office and mailing them. Until we meet again, smile and be happy. Have a great day. And remember to write and mail someone something. God bless.